let's see here uh this is foundation or data process okay so joe last time we were basically talking about you know uh, the odata o tokenization service right and we had a test let's see did i did i do that let's see yeah do you want to make that test pass <laughs> yeah may as well okay let's go let's go to town let's go sure. to town All right. Still on the same branch? Yes, sir. This should be, um, hold on, Joe. This should be foundations-odata-process. I don't know if you're on that one. Nope, nope, you're on the wrong one. <clears throat> Just type uh, foundations or process. That works, too. Yep. We had multiple foundations, that's right. Uh, cool. Literally having just an annotation here that says style, okay. style dot two, st at style dot two CSS. Where's this two CSS coming from? That's the sharp style library. Okay, that means I need a back end of a front end. Everything fails. <laughs> uh, uh, try one more time. Well, interesting. Uh, can you? Let's try to just make this one pass first, and then we'll see what's wrong with the others. Not implemented. That makes sense. Yeah, that 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 would, uh, that'd make the test fa fail. Okay, so you remember, we're going to take this, we're going to do three things, actually. We're going to ignore a bunch of components. We don't care about them completely. So the equal sign, you know, all of that is just going away, right? Okay. And then we're just going to nest everything under a keyword uh, node, you know, this way. So let's, let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This one should be super easy. Super, super easy peasy. All right, so and everything but those Be nice if these didn't jump all over. Okay, here we go. So the expected just gonna be all that stuff. Technically, yes. Okay. Best way. You could literally put it as is, and then you, yeah. and then you'll be required to write a test that randomizes. <laughs> like, like you could literally put a test that says, "Okay, now I'm gonna put a whole bunch of random uh, uh, properties after the select assignment, and see what happens." All right. Right. <clears throat> so we have to see if the first one is a parameter. I can assume it is, so. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. Well, you're getting an array, right? So. Yeah. So that should be our select. Mm -hmm. And 
and it's an oak token, so we can actually just mutate it. I'll rename all these after this. No worries. Learn how to type. There you go. Uh, what are you? List of O token. Not initialized. Yep. Ha ha. <laughs> 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 oh wait, 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 wait. Let me look here again. Okay, good. I encountered a bug the other day where someone had a property that they never had a setter on. And everyone's Yay. like, why can't you add to this? I'm like, because you can't add to it. Yay. Oh, I need a double one of these. Yep. Notation and zoom a little, please, Joe. Uh let's see if the thingy works. It does. I fixed yep. whatever the problem was a couple months ago. Control shift dot and comma. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. uh, okay. So mm. you're going to hate me. That, that's okay. Just make it pass. Uh, does this this does a range operator, doesn't it? Yeah, and you could, you know, actually that's that's pretty smart. You could go there and say where or select, and you basically reassign, you know, or for each and reassign. Oh, no. right? Okay there but we don't want the equals right and and remember you know you still have to uh kind of assign a type for you are every... correct yeah so <laughs> all right poor joe monday morning no, okay. just a slap <laughs> what time is it over there 10 o'clock or something like that 1109 oh okay What's warm in here without my AC on? The, the day is already over then, over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a huge fan of this, but... You, do you know what's my favorite part? job done. Do you know what's my favorite part about Mondays? On LinkedIn, the financial advisors that reach out to you and say, oh, let us help you, you know, with your finances. I'm like, it's Monday morning, bro. Chill out. <laughs> yeah. <problem."> yeah. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you use the projected token type? It's a lot more. Oh, I could do that. Uh, I'm not really, yeah, that would work. Yeah, right. Uh, boom. Ah, keyboard. No worries. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. I love, love how we approach this problem. We really filtered the problem as we went, you know, to the point where now you're not dealing with not just, you know, kind of tokenized, but projected tokens too. It's we still have a lot of work to do, but this is a pretty good, pretty good idea. Okay. So and this gives you the more token. thing. Oh, sorry about that. Let me go to him. No worries, no worries. I'm not a fan of mutating the list while in a select, so we're going to do it. Also, by the way, you are already a an O token. 
right? So, yeah, I'm just doing the select so I can modify it and return the same object. Is it going to work with the select? Oh, sure, well. Did you mean for each? I could do a for each, but it's not a list. Okay, keep going. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. I think it's going to bark on you if you try to it modify probably it. Will. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't like this because I need to do it this way. I'm going to do a for each most likely. Okay. What is going on with autocorrect? It's just like adding semicolons for me. It's trying to help, quote unquote. It's helping. Right. Come on, man. It added another one. <laughs> now return my thingy. Make sure it works as expected. Then we can continue on. Oh, it's going to freak out. Let's go. Oh, I know. So, okay, yeah, let's go. Yep. All right, let's test that. Sure, run all. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wasn't happy. <laughs> What's Didn't there? What's there? Doesn't even say. Expected actual token raw value. To be null, but oh, you missed the token equal O token type. Oh, that's got to be a root. Yeah, the first and one has to be root. Oh, yeah, I got you. And you need to get rid of the raw value on it, which is kind of strange, but well, it it it's um, it's supposed to be the whole query. Yeah. So so this same guy that you called first just nullify the raw value on it and that's it well we're we're missing the actual uh root expected token so i gotta create that real quick and... okay come on man that that would be your first though joe right well no because the first one we're getting in here is select and select has to be nested oh no you're right sorry you're absolutely right yep forget everything i just said already did <laughs> Here. so that doesn't belong there okay and then children needs to be initialized oh my god i gotta learn how to type one of these days mm -hmm. Semicolon. Now we add the first to this guy. Nice. Which I'm going to rename in a moment. Yep, yep, yep. Fist. Fist. Fist from the Marvel. <laughs> the rename Intel sounds is right there. All right, so we've got our root, our select. This needs to change. Hey, Joe, how do you feel about people who like to hit reply all in congratulations emails? Um, sometimes it's okay. I'd rather them do that on a personal note because not the entire chain needs to see that reply. It's just noise. So use it sparingly. In some cases, it does make sense, but not a congratulations. You're just kind yeah. of looking for attention at that point, or you yeah. look like you're not paying attention at all. <laughs> you're either looking for attention or you're not paying. <laughs> yeah. I like that. 
I, like well, I mean, it. it's a signal for anyone that's actually looking at that person and under a microscope. They're like, hey, I probably wouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right. Semicolon and projected type. Um, so the type is select and the projected type should stay the same. So you should yep. be good. Yeah. That should do it. That should kick it. All right, let's do it. Let's get rid of this stupid guy and this stupid guy. I should have just ran it from over here. That works too. Uh, these 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 little uh, controls on the uh, on top of the methods are still a little clunky, but uh, yeah, they're getting better. They're getting better. Yeah, yeah. I like the feedback that you get from them now. Um, yeah. where they expand and you can actually yeah. see the what what do they call those are like code windows almost like a tool tip kind of or oh you mean the peak window yeah it's it, it's a it's a form of peak window i just don't yeah. recall it has a name that microsoft gave it okay it hates me so what's it say expected property actual token raw value oh nullify the raw va you already have it nullify uh go into um but found select go go back joe i think i know why this is happening i think go you're back, back to where here to, to your implementation so at the very end here oh i'm wrong, returning yeah, the wrong thing you're supposed to return the root that's it there yeah. we go all right go back here it, run that one it. test again no okay expected property children children to be equal to property value three by value but found unidentified Ooh. oh did you flip the switch on all of them so you went and said projected type property did it actually produce that like if you put a breakpoint on line 37 and you run the test in debug mode uh does it actually let's see May as well look at it. Yep. Hi, you. Okay. So what do the tokens look like? If you put the tokens, you know, in a quick view. Come on, man. Click. Ah. Did, it, did it actually change it to property? Because I highly doubt it. But let's take a look. What What happened? I'm just going to add it to a watch. Okay. Our results. Only one in there. Only one? That's not right. Oh, well, it's it's only one, right? Yeah, it's only one. But see, yeah. in the type, it said I unidentified. Oh, you changed the projected type. No, project type should be okay. Just type type in there. That's it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> And type should be oh, token type. property. All right, this is gonna. You yeah. can't build while you're running. That's that's a that's a problem. <laughs> Hot reload is not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'll give it a go. <laughs> All right. Come on. What? Oh, you're trying to go back in time. Okay. Yeah, it's just the scrolling it's, is just it's nonsense. Not, it's not lit, no. All right. no. Doctor Strange spell denied. You got one. Oh, I, I went and saw um mm. the new one. Oh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness? Yeah. They should it's call it Wanda. They should call it WandaVision. They shouldn't call it Doctor Strange. <laughs> there you go. Can you run all the tests while you're at it? I have a doubt about something. Why they all failed uh how about run just run um oh i missed that yeah i want i i do like the where everything's like interconnected now yeah like the yeah. what if series and all that yep if you haven't watched the what if you have no idea 
Oh, that worked. So, okay, so this is, is this the exception? This might be it's a problem. Ex it's expecting an exception, but it's not getting thrown. This is, this might be a problem in an internal mock. So that's not on Oh, you. maybe. Is this so, the same one? Yeah. So, so here's, here's one for you. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll look into this. Um, okay, so mark this as pass. And then your solution probably oh, took care oh. of the randomization oh. part, didn't it? Like if I randomize a bunch of tokens inside that list, it would probably still work, wouldn't it? Because you win and as long as the properties are the same, because those are hard coded, and as long as you're not changing the um, like mm -hmm. any operations in it, like maybe the select has a function in it instead of just a property or a transform right. on a property. Right. Right. So. But okay. in this case, if you randomize or add more uh, properties after the equal sign, you this will cover it. Okay. 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 So so hit um, that one. Mark this one as complete. So we need a test that looks almost identical, Joe, to the one that we had for validation. Right, so we want to say if the incoming O token is, uh, you want me to write that one? Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, you can if you want. Okay. All right. Do you have everything Push. up there? Okay, perfect. So let's go and back here. It's up. Okay, perfect. Thanks. So let me, let me go back here. Can you see my screen? Joe, is my screen visible to you? Yes. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, let's see here. I made the area behind me look a little nicer. I I could tell. You, you it doesn't like me not being in the picture. <laughs> oh, man. It's only focused, only focused kind of. All right, we're just going to live like this now. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me stop the cam. Bring it back. Nope. Okay. Okay. So this will be dot validations, and this validations test, my friend, is gonna basically go and say if if the token is yeah. Okay. Oh, and while we're at it, see you see how you said that whole multiverse is connected. Yeah, you know, I think our multiverse is connected because Christo did theirs, me, just like theirs. <laughs> you know, should should grow validation exception on tokenize if O tokens is null. Log it. Oh well, there's no logging. It's a library, so. So Christo, I don't know if you know Christo, I've ever met him, but Christo Dutui, he's a he's a really smart guy. He's he, he's in England, and he um, he upgraded the exceptions library, right? I and saw he, part of that. Yeah. Yeah. So he basic what he basically did is that if you look at most of these validations, he said, hey, you don't need to do that nonsense anymore. What you can do is that you can move this up by one. Right, and you can go and say, okay, this is your actual exception. Actual exception, just like this. And then you need to set up your expected exception. So I'm going to go do that. O token validation exception, expected O token validation exception. Yeah. Okay, and. We should probably call this token validation exception because of the because because this is a tokenization service. I'll come back to this. So okay, so this is O token validation exception. Okay, what does this guy takes in as input? This guy is supposed to take in var null uh, O token exception. New null O token query exception. And that guy will go in there. Oh, I, I really appreciate this work. This is this is clean work because now I can go here and say, 
hey, that actual O token uh, validation exception, which should be the name of this guy, should, right, should uh, be equivalent to, and you want to pay attention to, yeah, see, that's not the one we want. I want the, uh, I want the library. So let me go into manage. Yeah, because you guys made a fluent validation. It's like it's like a it's like, it's like yeah, it's like an extension overload. So uh, if you go to exception, let's see, we have the library. We just need to upgrade it. Wow, we're we're there from two point two point two. Okay, interesting. Yeah, well, he had two he had two quick iterations there, which is okay. But you see, it's all connected. Like he's like this gentleman just working on this other thing on the other side of the world. You know, and then you can come in and basically be able to go and say, well, wait a second, you know, this is actually useful here in this in this particular. Okay, I need to build, though, because it didn't get the binaries yet. Let me rebuild. Yeah. Yeah. So rather than validating reference or nope. like the stack trace and everything, yep. you can actually yep. either if you look at it in terms of the state or the shape of what an exception should look like, you can validate yep. those things rather than there it is yep the brute force that the standard fluent validation tries to figure it yep. out yep so let's see here so uh, so if you if you run this this guy should pass and it did pass okay so all of these exceptions are supposed to migrate into this state right all of these guys you know, we need to migrate all of them into this state. Anyway, for, for the time That's being... code rub, right? Yeah, this is all code rubs, you know, because it doesn't really break existing functionality. There, there are some cases that I have to tell you, Joe. Like, I upgraded the library on Git file. It's a massive project, right? Yep. And it discovered discrepancies, and that made me so happy. You'd think, you'd think I'd be sad, but that actually made me super happy because that basically means that it's working. It's actually doing something, right? Anyway, so you have a bunch of O tokens in here. O token, and this is uh, invalid O tokens. So that's a an null. And have then you um, looked at all at uh, mutation testing? I haven't really looked at it. I just know that it exists. So basically, to validate if your tests are uh, written appropriately, you can actually go and mutate parts of the code that affect the test and it should fail on certain mutations um i think nick chops us has a video on it okay I'll take a look be worth it. looking at yes sir okay so let me do this exceptions let me go and add in a so this is null null o token exception okay cool so that's what that here here is foundation stuff public class uh this guy takes in from exceptions let's see um ace message um uh, o tokens or null it doesn't have enter, it doesn't have anything. So this is one, control K E, and then there also we need another one in here. And this other one is for the validation. So this one here is the O token validation exception. Here is your rights, control K E. Here's... What do you got? Snip it? No, it's just control P it, it it understands that you just enabled the uh, understand things you know and I'll just do it oh no i'm talking about the copyright oh this yeah it's just control period it just pulls it down oh okay i, I don't i don't have any i don't have to set up any i try as much as i can to stick with the default visual studio stuff yeah for a reason you know i i don't want like i'm trying not to have too much rituals happening that's why i hate analyzers and i hate all of these little toasters that people put in because Anyway, uh, so let's see. O token validation error occurred. Fix the errors and try again. 
And in here, here's your inner exception. So that guy actually is going to take an inner exception of type exception. That's inner exception. It'll be nice when I see this guy has a wrapper around this guy. Okay, so, so this is here. So this is null O tokens exception. There you go. And then var expected uh, O token validation exception equal new O token validation exception with null all O tokens exception. There you go. And now I want to go and say, what do I want to say? I want to go here and say, I want to execute that guy. So here's an action. Since this is not a an asynchronous, and this this is, uh, what's the name of our function? Is it O tokenize? Is that what we called it? Yeah, it's O tokenize. Okay, so O, to, o tokenize action. And this guy will be this, oh, there we go, this dot service dot o tokenize invalid o tokens. Great. And now I want to go and say uh, o token validation exception, actual o token validation exception equals. And then assert throws. O token validation exception. With the O tokenize action. O tokenize. Come on, help a brother out. Just it is like I don't I don't even know what you're doing anymore. So okay, actual O token should there you go should uh, be equivalent to expected O token validation exception and that's here's a test for you so the test is saying if this is invalid it will be uh, localized categorized throw the action here's the output great let's run this this guy should fail dramatically and miserably and i i can think of someone you know in mind that would make it that would make it pass let's see if it's failing for the right reasons though okay so here it is it's saying Okay, so the object reference not set to instance object because it's trying to access that null, you know, token array. So I'm getting the right failure here. All right, Joe, let's make it pass and go today. Let's go. There's right. a fail. There's a fail. And here is a commit all and push. Your turn. Back to Joe. Back to Joe. Joe. Shooty so mixed Abby. Oh. Thank you. Oh, you are on me. Cool. Um, you had some misspellings too. Yep. I, I just remembered. Yep. I'm the worst. You know, if you find something, free code drop opportunities. <laughs> yeah, so the right one has failed. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. So this guy here. Oh, tokenization service. I'm in the test, that's why it looks funny. Okay. Yeah, so you need a validation partial and you need an exception partial. This has been frustrating lately. I mean, so you're just starting to type and then nothing's caught. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Dot validation. Oh, what do we call these validation something or other? Yeah, dot validations dot CS. Yep. CA. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canadian yeah. validation. <laughs> I just cancel. <laughs> Did you cancel it? <laughs> yeah, so that already is partial. So we'll see. 
paste. Okay. If you copy the one in the folder in the other model, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, there you go. Something very similar to that. If you take that, validate this null. So take uh, from oh, yeah. line. Uh -huh. So there's a static. Got here. We don't need you right now. I'll put you over here. Okay. I mean, so used to have my big screen. Yeah. yeah. You won't need all of them, though. Just the one. No, I know. I'm getting rid of those. I just yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Cheat a little. Yeah. Joe, what's this purple uh, thing at the bottom? Oh, you have okay. That's so you have at the bottom next to your percentage view, you have copilot and there's a purple thing next to it. What is that? Oh, IntelliCode. IntelliCode conditions. Okay. Okay, you're fine. Okay. I should probably disable one of those. Yeah. <laughs> IntelliCode versus uh. Co yeah. Copilot. I, yeah, I don't know if it's burn. I have it too. I have it enabled. I I don't think they're the same. I don't think they're doing the same thing. No, um, IntelliCode it builds its own model where GitHub uses the service. Yeah. So validate. All right, cool. And you have a front end. Mm -hmm. We like cheating. <laughs> and you just come down here. I just stop using my mouse. I you know, actually was going to boot up uh, Ubuntu mm -hmm. uh, VS Code on it and just use that for like a week straight. Hey, hey, but, Joe, log out and come yeah. back in because your phone, your your sound started to cut cut out. Log out and come back in into the session, please, and don't forget yep. to share your screen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give Joe a second here. There he is. Okay, say something. Hi. Oh my God, much better. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, this laptop is getting a little beat up. Yes, okay. sir. Getting aged or whatnot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so that takes care of, uh, well, you want the null auto. Okay, yeah, that's right. No. I want to return this one. Yeah, yeah, you want to throw this one. You're going to catch it and then wrap it. Yep. So null yeah. auto. Okay. Yep, there you go. Okay. Now we want the exceptions part. Joe, yeah. Mm. So we got this part, we got this part, so now we gotta use it. Careful, you're in the projections. Yep, let me get rid of you. This guy's mad because it wants a partial. Yeah. It's mad at you. And then we want a an exceptions file. Like that one, okay. Like that one. 
Okay. Why can't I spell right now? There we go. It's basically I think you need the second one. Do you? Yeah, I just copied and pasted it. Out. Are we using it on the other one? I, 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 I would, I would be surprised. I don't think we are. the right name but yeah no all tokens exception you're right yep keep going Option. yep pull that guy in and there you go Just one, just one exception. And this guy is. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I keep like forgetting that I have this nice little helper next to me a lot. Take the S away from the from the variable name. You're correct. You know the thing about this uh, copilot. You know, first you hate it, and then you 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 live with it, and then it grows on you. And before you know it, you can't you live don't without. Don't know what you're doing without it. Yeah. Just like the walls in Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> yeah. Well, the I think the biggest problem that uh, we need to keep keep on is always questioning it because it is another thing feeding you stuff just like a person next to you you got to run your experiments and prove it uh, no, wait wait you will be questioning it because you and i are in the generation where we grew up without intelligence at all right <laughs> but there will be a generation that doesn't that can't imagine development without like let me tell you this if you ask an engineer from the 60s or the 70s right they can tell you i don't need an ide at all and i i know i have a couple of friends that no would tell you what yeah what is this what's this id for i have c make and let me just build my entire operating system myself right yeah. for us we can't we can't imagine doing something like that not even close we know of it but we can't imagine it imagine i remember doing csc csc you, compile you have, everything in this directory you have to do it, it and yeah. keep going but yeah so so i think like you and i will be questioning it but the next generation, I don't think they will, Joe. They'll be like, yeah, oh, we'll, yeah. Have, 
Well, that's what it said. You know. Well, do you have you ever programmed without a computer? Do it all down on paper first, and then when you get a computer, yeah. you type oh, it yeah. in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I didn't grow up with a computer. It wasn't until I got later into like at least high school before we yeah. had one at home. You had to write your four loops on a paper. Yeah. <laughs> and just pretend that it's printing. Okay, object reference. Not. Oh, you you forgot to call the method, and you forgot to call try catch. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff I forgot. So 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 you built all the hard stuff. You just forgot to call it. That's all. <laughs> Nice thing about this is I get to keep my curly brackets. And then. No, no, just open close parentheses. And yeah, you're right. Yep. Open close parentheses and then fat arrow. And. Oh, yeah, you're right. Take, take that here. other fat arrow up by one. But you're going to need a semicolon here. Mm -hmm. Yep. I see. Okay. Now, if you pull try catch down and it pull looks it better, back. yeah. And okay. we'll do this and we fix. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now you just need to call that validation function that you created. Hmm. What? What's the problem? Uh, can't convert. Lambda expression to intended intended oh, delegate oh, type. Oh, I, I I know what you did. Go back to exception. Oh, because of the return type. Yes. Hey, I told you it's weird. So let's take away that uh, uh, array. It's just not an array anymore. And you should say re it's just O token. That's all. You're right. And I think you also need to change the function name to say returning O token function. Yep, yeah, I missed the O. Still Monday. We'll get there. Uh, take away the S as well, please, Joe. Yep. It did it on its own. Or do you want it to say O token function? Well, you're returning O token, right? So. Yeah. Let's go to town. Let's go to town. Everything is awesome. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, All right. I get stuck in my head every now and then. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go back to your... I don't know if you called the function, brother. Let's go back. I did it. Oh, you did? <laughs> I just like running my tests. All right. So we got try catch. All right. Let's call the function. You're right. Uh no, in in the inside the business logic. To go back one and let's do it. So right before that O token root that you defined. Validate. Oh yeah. Uh, yep. And then pass O tokens to it and we should be all good. You almost could do um just like you did your try catch because you're gonna have like three or four validation things in here have them like your try catch push them out of the way like you don't even get in here in here without validating but you don't have that passed in parameter you're right you could, you could make it but uh it's gonna change your delegate yeah all right well, let's run this this should pass it, me. it was an idea Yes. All yeah, right. Yeah. So next time we can validate a little bit further. There's a couple of more validations that we need to do. And maybe by that time, I'll see what's wrong with internal mock because I think I think it's skipping something. What if you run it in debug mode? Like run if all the tests in debug mode. Um, boom, How do you do that? Debug all tests in view? Yeah, let's see. Um, I only have the one breakpoint, I think. No, no, wait. I want it to finish. So keep running. Like, don't let the breakpoint stop you. Keep running. Yeah. Yep, keep running. Keep running. Keep running. That's that's the test passing. It's saying it's two, your... two, and then good. So so keep running. 
Uh, it is done. I think it's done. Nope, there it goes. So Just you... took a minute. Okay, so... Everything's yeah. good. So internal mock works only when you're running in debug mode because reflection is banned or something like that. I think that's what it is. Yeah. That I'll... or the uh, the symbols are different. Yeah. I bet I... it's more of the symbols, especially if you're trying to um, match on uh, generated types. That's why in that... Um, that little app the or the little extension method thingy that I made, I, I gave it a private method name. Yeah. That way you didn't have to rely on matching any generated stuff. Potentially. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. commit this as a pass and uh, I'll see what's going on. Um, but yeah, that that's good. You got it. You made it to the other side, brother. Yeah. Some days you win, some days you don't. This all, one's a good day. <laughs> all, all uppercase P, pass. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, brother. Thank you so much, Joe. So right. a, a couple of more validations, one service exception. So three more tests or maybe two more tests. And then we start talking about taking that. So that O token becomes the the thing that we're going to be determining, you know, based on it, what, what are we going to do? And then we, if we can pick that up and convert it into an expression, that's it. Right. So two things, we need to take that, convert it into an expression, take a raw expression, convert it back into raw O data query. That's a horizontal delivery. That's yeah. one horizontal delivery. It could, it could kind of, help people kind of see what we're trying to accomplish here you know this is our 51st session which is like a week and a half if we were all working full time but uh yeah. or, all right thank you so much do i appreciate you you know for people watching you know what to do like subscribe so i said like i, I said like like this <laughs> like and subscribe thank you joe <laughs> thank you yeah bye